Welcome back to the channel. Recently I was at a toy show actually selling Lego at a toy convention, a retro toy convention in Toronto. I was filming a vlog for my other channel, Matt Cart, but at the end when we were packing up, I realized that what I thought was just sports cards at one of the other booths actually also had other cards in there like Magic the Gathering. I noticed it when I saw two sets of Magic the Gathering cards in a taped up sleeve for a binder. So I ended up digging through the bin and we found quite a few of them and I offered him $13 for four originally and then he just said yeah just take the five it's fine. So we're gonna see is it just gonna be bulk is it just gonna be random cards or there actually gonna be some value in these sleeves. Let's take a look right now and see what we bought. So which ones these are the ones that have the magic? Yeah. Okay so would you do how much are they? I just want to make sure I don't want to. They're five bucks a pack. Five bucks a pack. Three for uh, ten. Yeah. For ten. We should do four for thirteen. Yeah. Four for thirteen. Thank you. Just take them. Just take them all. Oh, thank you, man. Here they are. I got my knife to cut into this tape right here. So there is five of them. Looks like there's uh, some Marvel cards in here. I don't know if this is Warcraft. Um, we got more Marvel cards, some Magic, and I think there's actually some Yu-Gi-Oh cards mixed up in here as well. Probably one of the most bizarre purchases I've ever made on this channel. Um, why don't we, uh, why don't we crack into this one first? Oh my god. Talk about a weird random buy for you guys today. I hope you enjoy these types of videos. If you do, please subscribe, like, and leave a comment, and let me know what your favorite card from this buy was. Okay, so I think I've got it here. Oop, there's more sleeves. Oh my god, so there's multiple sleeves here. As you can see, there is some Yu-Gi-Oh! I, I did notice that there was Yu-Gi-Oh! here. Okay, so is there anything here that's rare? I don't know too much about Yu-Gi-Oh! I don't think there's any rares here, though, because usually there's a gold text or a foil to indicate that, so I don't think we have anything really there. Uh, what else? Ooh. Let's flip this over. Okay, so... Oh my god, is this two sleeves? I think this is two sleeves as well. Oh my god, this is the most bizarre way of packing it up. Oh, oh my god, okay, so right off the bat, I have to say that there might be some value here because we have some portal lands here. We have a portal island, we got a portal mountain, and a portal swamp. Let's go behind to see if there's multiples here. Okay, so we got one portal swamp there. Then we get... Looks like... Oh my god, we got another forest here, so we got more portal lands. And you'll see the value on screen here as well. So we got a portal mountain and another portal plains. Is there anything else beside here? So it looks like it's a lot of basic lands. Maybe that's going to be a theme here. So we got some 8th edition lands there. We got an 8th edition forest. 8th edition plains. Okay, and I think that's it. Okay, so I'm going to put this up. Ooh, we got a Jedi Knight's card. That's pretty cool. So let's see this, uh, this Yu-Gi-Oh! stuff here so yeah I don't think there's any rares here either yeah Yu-Gi-Oh it's a little easier to tell what, what a rare is because you do see like gold text restoration let's just see if, it, if I see any gold text here but let me know if I'm missing anything here for value I would love to know that down below in the comment section it would really help me out and I do not think I see any gold there let's just double check last minute there nope soul strike yeah, let me know if uh, any of these are worth money. I don't think they are. Circus. Yeah, so not looking too good here for the Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. But nonetheless, it's pretty cool to get Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I don't know a lot about them. Maybe I'll just keep them with me, though, and uh, do more research later on. Okay, so next stack right here. Let's cut into these binder pages. Get the tape out of the way here and see what we actually have. Okay, so, oh my god, this is such a bizarre random buy. Hope you enjoy this. Marvel vs. Cards. I remember playing some of these back in the day. Oh my god, the Darkhold Coach. I don't think these really have value, but uh, let me know what you think about that. Okay, we got another sleeve here. This one does have some magic cards, so that is nice. And uh, it looks like 8th edition. So we got 8th edition Dusk Imp with an island there. So these are more 8th edition lands. Unfortunately, not foil. If they're foil, they would actually hold value. Um, but no, they are not. So we got more Marvel cards there. 
We got one more from this stack, the binder pages, and we do have another portal land, a portal swamp. Awesome, okay. Yeah, we're gonna put that one aside. So we got more eighth edition stuff here, remove soul. Uh, maybe this person knew what the rares were because it looks like it's just, yeah, it's just uh, basic lands, which I mean, some of them can have value. Again, if they're foil basic lands, you never know, there's some decent commons and uncommons from 8th edition, but it doesn't look like we're getting any here. Goblin Raider, okay. It's moving on right now. Let's cut into the tape here. See what else we have. So, this is a really cool random buy. I wish I could do more stuff like this. This is just bizarre. You never, you never know when you're at like a toy show. I was just happy to be selling some stuff there and stumbled upon this. So we do have some more lands. Looks like that's kind of the common theme here. Kitsune Blade Master, we got a Plains, Cage of Hands, Devoted Retainer with another island there. We got a Plains as well. The Marvel card, I'm gonna keep all the Marvel cards in there. We get more Plains. A lot of 8th edition stuff, so it looks like mostly just 8th edition and Portal so far. I'm not complaining about the Portal stuff, the Portal stuff is actually really sweet. And is that it? Yeah, that looks like it's it. Okay, so we have uh, two more of these binders to go some of these uh, pages here but very odd i don't know if we're gonna be getting our money back 13 dollars. who knows some of these portal lands i know some of them can be worth like two or three bucks so if we do get a few more it's quite possible that we will get our money back but right now it is not looking like it more verses oh yeah that's a lot of marvel cards right there uh this one actually is taped up a little nope came apart okay so more 8th edition stuff, um, not bad. Wood Elves actually can be pretty decent. I mean, it's not really worth over a dollar, but it's a good card. We got Lone Wolf there. Just wanna see if we have anything else. Mountain Forest, do we have just, man, there is a lot of lands here. Rampant Growth, that's actually a decent card, very useful. Mountains, we got some swamps here, more swamps. We got more forests, and yeah, that looks to be it so far. Okay, last stack of binder pages here. Come on, let's see what we can get. Please, let's get something good here. Okay, first page, please more portal cards. Yes, yes, finally. Okay, so we're back to the portal stuff. I was getting worried there. I thought we we're only going to see... 8th edition lands right now, but we are getting some more portal stuff, so that is awesome. We get an island and a mountain. Okay, I think we actually might have got our money back. I know it sounds crazy, guys, but these portal cards, they do add up. You'll be seeing the prices of these on screen as well. So that is wicked. Oh, wait, this one, there's a card here. Oh, there you go, another forest sneaking behind there. Let's unsleeve this. Okay, so we're back to the... 8th edition stuff it looks like. We got grizzly bears and a mountain. Okay. Uh, the, oh, there you go. That's a rare. I mean, not a very good rare, but we did get a rare, so I'm actually surprised that, to see that. We get a swamp there. Two more forests. We get a volcanic hammer and stone rain, a decent card. And let's see what else is in here. We get two more forests and two more forests. Okay, last binder page. Let's see, what, we're, what are we gonna get? What are we gonna get? Oh, no, no portal cards here. Hill Giants, we do have an Elvish Pioneer though. That's actually a decent card. Let's take that out with the Spined Worm. Get more planes here, two planes. And uh, two more planes. Get Giant Growth there, the Naturalize. And then we've got a Goblin Raider with the Ravenous Rats. And I think we actually have another Magic card behind here. Maggot Carrier. Is there anything else behind here? No. That is it. Well, that was crazy, guys. Let me know what you think about this random buy in the comment section. I think those Portal Lands are actually going to add up to at least 13 or more dollars. So I'm pretty happy with that. Sometimes you just got to look at the basic lands and you can end up getting some value back. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Code 
Matcaster for 5% off your order from Face to Face Games, Canada's largest Magic the Gathering store. Qualified orders get free shipping Canada wide. Use our code anytime you shop at Face to Face Games to support the show and get the cards you need at a discount.